Roll up your sleeves, everyone. It's time to make America great again. I'm sure those of you who were watching last Saturday probably were a little bit surprised by a statement that was made by the former president. But make no mistake, if it ever does become mandatory nationwide here, I have a plan, and I have a backup plan. And let's see if I can say this properly. Eu vou desaparecer no campo de Santa Catarina de Brasil e nunca mais voltar a los Estados Unidos. I hope I got that right. My Portuguese is a little rusty. But I'll let those of you who know what that means figure that out down in the comments and explain it to everyone else. But on another topic, a very interesting and very strange event has occurred. About a week ago, I did a video talking about this website called OnlyFans. Now, full disclosure, it's largely dedicated to pornography. Now, it's a very strange paradigm because what it does is it allows women to do what they would do, say, in a strip club, but from the safety of their own home, where there's no actual physical contact with pictures and videos, and the tips are all done, and the money is all done electronically. Now, some have made tens of millions of dollars doing this. Most don't. But even some are making tens of thousands monthly without having to have any direct contact. And, you know, if a young woman wants to go to a local bar and do this type of thing, she may have access to a few hundred, maybe a few thousand guys. While online, you have access to a few hundred million So, how much you need to make off each individual John, so to speak, is way less to make a lot more money. Now, you're probably asking, well, that's great. What's what's happened that's relevant to what's going on? Well, about a week or two ago, this particular site, under pressure from the big credit card corporations, decided it was going to remove sexually explicit uh, content, pardon me, it would allow nudity, and it would allow certain things, but it was going to restrict anything that was really hardcore. Well, guess what? After the backlash from this, they've decided to reverse themselves and get rid of that ban. Quote, OnlyFans stands for inclusion, and we will continue to provide a home for all creators, the company said. Now, wait a minute. How could they have one opinion two weeks ago and now another opinion now? Well, it's real simple. Work from home. The ultimate social distance. This is one of those, pardon the term, dirty little secrets that nobody wants to talk about. There are a lot of women, and some men to some extent, that have had this epiphany moment because of what happened with the 2020 sniffles, they were forced into decisions like this. And all of a sudden, they started making 8, 10, 20 times the amount of money they made in real life. And they were like, wow, I can't believe this. This is crazy. They can work from home and have everything they need delivered. Groceries, whatever else. Because they're making that kind of money. Some of these young women mostly have upgraded from small homes to larger homes, larger homes to palatial mansions. 
you know, and have been able to set aside college funds for their kids, take care of their families, do all sorts of stuff. It's the ultimate in social distancing, which is the number one way to combat the 2020 sniffles. And it is also, you ready for this? The number one way to combat vax mandates. The power of social distancing. No restrictions. One infected person infects two and a half people who get infected, who then by day 30... 406, 50% less exposure, 75% or zero. You don't infect anyone. And for a lot of people, it's a dream job. It's an absolute dream job, even for the same money. But for some, it's been a huge raise. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are like, well, that's great in Florida, Maki, wonderful. But not everyone, not everyone can stay home. Essential job sectors, chemical, commercial facilities, communications, critical manufacturing, dams and public works, defense, industrial base, emergency services, energy, financial services, food and agriculture, government facilities, healthcare and public health, information technology, nuclear reactors, materials and waste, transportation systems, waste and wastewater systems. These will be the jobs of the vaxxed. The essential, read, slave, job sectors, things you should avoid. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are having a bit of a quandary. Maybe we should apologize to the Amish. Maybe their whole idea of taking their entire society and divorcing it from, quote-unquote, the English This is how they refer to it, being out among the English because most of the Amish are Dutch. Maybe they were right all along and they saw something like this coming way down the road. And make no mistake, these people work hard. They work very hard, but not to be unhelpful. I'll give you this link, novaxmandate.org. Just like it sounds, N-O-V-A-X. M-A-N-D-A-T-E dot org. This is a job board where people post jobs that they are offering where you aren't required to be vaxxed. Teachers, data clerks, delivery drivers, tool designers, banquet server, customer service. Once again, novaxmandate.org. And just to be clear, I'm sure a lot of there's a lot of ladies out there going, oh, my key, that is so horrible. I don't know what's worse. Should I be vaccinated or if I had to go out? I mean, if I had to work from home, what I really want to do, you know, something like OnlyFans. Well, here's an example. Pretty, pretty tame, if you ask me. This particular individual is uh, currently living in a home that's four times the size of the one that I live in. And I have a fairly nice place. Pretty tame imagery. It's called economy of scale. And I'm not trying to say go do this or go do that or go do the other. But sometimes things are not always as they seem. Now, on another note, this is a YouTube channel called Self-Sufficient Me. Just like that sounds. Self-Sufficient Me. This guy's in Australia, and he shows how to be self-sufficient when it comes to food and all sorts of different things. Now, he's got a pretty big spread. He's got, I think, what he described as a three-acre plot, and he has a lot of stuff going on, fruits and vegetables, and I think he's got chickens. I mean, where I'm at, I can't have chickens, but, you know, I've actually been busy the last week or two planting fruit trees, got some tangerines, got some oranges, got some grapefruits, got more stuff coming, Um, avocados, I'm going to do some raised garden beds. But being self-sufficient and working from home, being self-sufficient and working from home might come with different 
flavors and colors, so to speak. Some have thought it would be more agricultural. Well, for some it might be less than something agricultural. You know, it's... Everyone needs to have their own ability to decide. But I'm sure this is something... Roll up your sleeves, America. It's time to make us great again. It's not something you thought you were going to see. I'm sure it's going to make you scratch your heads, but make no mistake. If it ever gets that bad, there are places you can go where you can disappear from what you know to be the real world and they will never find you. Southern Brazil... Santa Catarina is one of those places. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. Pray for each other. Lift each other up. Keep your head on a swivel. And we will see you guys tonight on Twitch.